Hey, this is D.S. Jaxheimer, and this is another edition of The Spectre. And uh, this episode's about uh, sort of a, a murder if, in my hometown, fairly infamous one. There was even like an episode of uh, The Perfect Murder on Investigation Discovery about it. Um, show, that show's probably not even on anymore. But uh, anyway, this is about um, Dr. Richard Illis, who is a heart surgeon at Williamsport Hospital, whose wife was... Um, shot in her kitchen while she was on the phone. And, um, and this is how uh, eventually Dr. Richard Ellis got um, convicted of her murder, basically. Um, there aren't a lot of videos of this on YouTube or a lot more information. There's more information of it online, but anyway. Um, but it was a pretty nationally known uh, sort of scandalous murder, you know, um, and everything. And, um, well, um, this is basically um, what I'm going to be showing here right now is uh, the uh, around the crime scene of where it happened in um, uh, the uh, Loyal Sock Township section of the uh, Greater Williamsport area. Yeah, uh, I didn't really know. It was, um, it was a pretty, uh, you know, uh, typical neighborhood. Not a lot of coverage if you're going to sneak up on a, on a house and uh, try to shoot somebody through the window. Um, um, just actually being down there and seeing it, I actually kind of thought it was in a different part of town where there were uh, more woods and stuff. So anyway, uh, so um, Dr. Uh, Dr. Illis... Um, after he's, I mean, first he's, of course, you know, he's not, um, being arrested. He was cleared. Um, they didn't have any evidence against him at the time. Um, but, uh, he decided to, uh, take off and go to, he went to Texas and I think he, uh, traveled to Spokane, Washington, where eventually he wound up there. He was a, uh, he became a board certified plastic surgeon and, um, there were actually, I guess, a lot of complaints of his work because it's not, you know, primarily what he did before, of course. Um, and um, they were, um, they were still building a case against him, the DA, back in Williamsport. And um, they were uh, able to, uh, through just, you know, going over the evidence again, I mean, they found a, uh, two shoes just off the road and the rifle. Um, uh, and of course, part of the you know the uh, the silencer was left in the tennis court. He just left it there for some reason. I guess that was part of how he mid uh, 
mid um, to mid lead uh, the authorities, and um, he also wrote like a uh, letter from some uh, I guess some made up group like hate group or whatever it is because his wife Miriam was uh, Lebanese, and um, police theorized that there was a. Uh, uh, some hillbilly redneck right wing dude who wanted to kill her because she was teaching the kids in church uh, Islam at Sunday school. Um, but uh, Miriam Ellis was actually a Catholic, so it really didn't, uh, that didn't add up, of course. And um, so, anyway, uh, after uh, essentially they'd established that his alibi didn't check out time frame wise he could have easily gone to Harrisburg and shot his wife earlier that evening um, and arrived at the hotel um, so uh, that he got through the Hampton Inn in Harrisburg so uh, anyway he's kind of pretty much busted so the police um, after you know all of this planning that you know Dr. Ellis did um, it seemed it basically uh, let him you know, <clears throat> let a trail of breadcrumbs right to him, you know, I mean, it was just, um, it was just, everything just seemed, it didn't seem to quite add up as, um, there to be any other suspect out there, you know, who else, who would have the motive, and this is just, you know, the type of red herring way that, um, you know, people who, who are really smart like that, um, try to, you know, hide their tracks, and that's what he was doing. He thought he was being bright, and maybe he, it would have helped him um, uh, if they hadn't found um, some of his, I think it was a hair or something of his son's DNA on one of the shoes, like a hair fell on the shoe, that kind of thing, and um, that's ultimately what busted him. So, uh, yeah, here's um, just a little bit more of of uh, this is the kind of the timeline and what happened um, to uh, Mary Millis and um, and why uh, uh, Dr. Illis was uh, of course how he was found guilty of murdering her. At 7:23 p.m., Dr. Illis makes a phone call from his Kogan Station home. At 10:37 p.m. that evening, Miriam Illis is murdered at her home in Loyal Sock Township with a shot through the heart. A rifle was discovered 50 feet from the road on Route 15, while two shoes were also discovered nearby. One was 41 feet from the road, while the other was 37 feet away. At 11.24 p.m., Illis makes a cell phone call while on Route 15. And at 12.57 a.m., Dr. Illis checks into a Hampton Inn in Harrisburg. So, um, yeah, that pretty much, that, uh, that's pretty much the whole case. That was the, uh, Commonwealth case against, prosecution's case against, uh, Dr. Richard Ellis, who is, um, still to this day in prison. Um, I'm not sure which one exactly. I looked up, um, there were a couple different places that he had stayed, but I'm not sure where he is now. But he has life in prison, and he's exhausted all of his appeals, apparently. Um, and their son lives with, uh, Miriam Illis's, uh, Zambi's her, uh, maiden name, uh, relatives somewhere, so, uh, you know, that's gotta be a tough thing to live with, obviously. Um, so that was a pretty crazy case, um, I just wanted to do, you know, a video about it, I wanted to do one for a while, um, I did a little trailer video a long time ago, like over a year ago, and, um, it got a lot of views, at least for my channel, so I was a little, I wasn't sure if I wanted to make a video about this particular story, but, there it is, um, kind of in a nutshell. Uh, so uh, anyway, um, if you have any suggestions for other story ideas or you want to really criticize this one, um, leave uh, uh, comments below and um, um, like or dislike, of course. And um, anyway, um, and this has been a, another edition of The Spectre. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, it was okay. I haven't been, I you know, it's been a long time. <laughs> Keep in mind. So, uh, and uh, just not getting sleep in the holidays. It's just been, it's been, you know, it's a nightmare. It's a whole other, you know, uh, just a lot of my time has been sort of 
um, getting been getting devoured with with work and you know trap doing some holiday traveling not much but um, it does till the time I get home and get back to doing this again it's just you know I haven't been able to uh, get the time or space to do it um, I realized how much time and space it takes sometimes to make these so anyway I hope you like my videos um, this has um, been another edition of Spectre I'm DS Yoxheimer and um, I guess watch your don't watch watch your back when you're talking on the phone in the kitchen. I guess that's the lesson to be learned from this story. Anyway, take care.